Hi, this is Kim from EverythingEtsy.com. Welcome to setting up a WordPress blog on your own domain. It's part of a 10-post multimedia series we're doing called Blogging Leads to Online Greatness. Uh, not history book greatness here, but for many of us, if we manage to build ourselves a website, that is a historical event. <laughs> We've got lots of posts on why to blog, but this video teaches you how to set up a WordPress blog on your own domain. So to walk you through the process, here's my sweet husband, Tim, with all the how-tos and technical details. Okay, here we go. Uh, you know, I've thought through this a little bit and how we're going to do this video because there's a lot to cover. And I, um, you know, I don't want to put anybody to sleep with getting into too much detail, but at the same time, I know that some of you won't have a clue what I'm talking about or what I'm doing, and, and you need somebody to show you how to do this in a way that you can understand. And so I think what I'm going to try and do, uh, I may do two videos, or maybe I'll run through it fast and then pause it and then go back and kind of add to the end of the video with a little more detail on each part, uh, you know, something like that. But the first thing I'm going to do, don't uh, don't be disheartened if you don't know what I'm doing it and I lose you, um, because I'm going to go back through it somehow. So uh, I'll explain that. I'll either add something to the end of the video or we'll put it in the post. And uh, the way you can always find this post is just go to everythingetsy.com uh, and then right under... Um, Right under the, the top ad, you'll see a search here. There's a search box right next to Kim's picture. Type in blogging leads to online greatness, um, and you'll probably get, uh, you'll definitely see a, a bunch of posts. One of them is going to be this very first post with that exact title. And um, the, the link, uh, the September 19th here, if you click on the link that will be there once the post is published, um, then you'll find the, the post with this video and there'll be information there. And if I've done more videos or however we end up doing this, um, you'll be able to find it all right there. So uh, we'll see what happens, but let's just go through this quickly. What we're talking about is how to set up a WordPress blog on your own domain. And I want to show you how easy it is. And so I'm going to go through it already understanding you know, what I'm doing. So the first thing I want to do is pick a domain name. So I'll go to someplace like GoDaddy.com because they have a cool tool, and I'll, I'll pick a, a domain name. So they've got this bulk search. I don't know if you saw what I just did. When you first come to GoDaddy.com, you see this, you know, GoDaddy page. And then, uh, but right here, uh, they have bulk search. Right at the top, there's this little tab. You go to bulk search, and uh, then you can put in a bunch of names. So, you know, you're trying to find something that either is going to be the name of your shop, or something that goes with the name of your shop that you want to use for your blog, or something catchy, something that you like for your blog. You know, things that are easy to remember are obviously good. Um, remember that you can use a hyphen. So if you wanted to use, you know, Kim's blog, and Kim's blog.com wasn't available, you might try Kim's hyphen blog. Um, you know, whether or not that's easy for people to remember is a different question, but you can use hyphens. That's the bottom line. So the um, you you pick you know you put in a bunch of things here till you find a domain that you think will work for you and you know that it's available. So if I I put in you know Kim's blog and Kim's hyphen blog, you know, and I could do however many, just one on each line, you know, just do a whole bunch of them, and then hit search, and it'll tell you which ones of those are available and which ones aren't. So Kim's hyphen blog, as you know, as I suspected, Kim's blog.com is not available, but Kim's hyphen blog.com is available. So, okay, so I know that's available. So then I'm going to go, let's just say we're doing this on Bluehost. So then I'm going to go to Bluehost, um, and the home page of Bluehost uh, is, is here. It looks like this. And, um, you know, Bluehost is a good deal. They're, they're a great hosting provider. They're who we've had for a long time. And uh, we've also used HostGator, and we also have our own hosting. So we've got a number of different hosting things that we do. But, you know, one of the great options is Bluehost, and we recommend it highly. You get a free domain. It works great. So, you know, let's just, let's just assume for the purposes of this video that that's what you're doing. Um, if you want to see our thoughts on all of those different resources, we have a page at everythingetsy.com slash resources. And um, it's, it's not completely filled out yet. I'm working on it. But it's there, and it will be done by the time this video is published. So let's just pretend this is all beautiful and done everythingetsy.com slash resources and it talks about all the different uh, people we've used and, and what, what our thoughts and experience have been and what options we think are good. So, um, But going back to Bluehost, so let's say you decide um, this is what you're going to do and you say, okay, sign up now. 
and then you'll put in, you know, Kim's dash blog, you know, or hyphen, whatever floats your boat, Kim's hyphen blog dot com, and hit next. You get a free domain. If you already had a domain, there was a box right next to that where you type in that domain name and you're just buying hosting at that point. You know, the domain name's free, so the price is no different. Um, so anyway, so there you go, kimsblog.com, and um, the uh, and you would enter all your information here, and you go down here. Most people can can skip this pro package um, and just use a regular Bluehost package. That'd be fine. Um, and then you know, you, as you'll see here with the little drop-down box, the price changes based on based on uh, you know how long you go with at a time. So the uh, you know, let's just say you, you whichever one you choose. Okay, say you do you know 12 months. I think you have to pay all of it at once um, for the first year, and then you can go to you know you can pay by every I think every 90 days is the minimum that you can pay. Um, so the um, you know you, you decide on some of these. You really don't need domain security. Um, you know you can read the more information on these things. Um, the only one of these you might want is privacy. If you're if you you know people have different opinions on the web about whether or not they want to be private. Uh, or they just, you know, this is who I am, and, you know, anybody that wants to find me can find me, and, you know, they don't do the privacy thing, but you, you choose there whether or not you want to pay 10 bucks a year, and if you do that, then it, it makes it a lot harder for somebody to figure out who owns a particular website, but I wouldn't say that it makes it impossible. Um, so anyway, uh, credit card information, and you're good to go. The, uh, and once you get all that set up, I mean, without actually buying a new account, I can't really tell if there's something else right after this, but once you get through whatever the initial steps are, you'll finally get a login code to something called your cPanel. So you'll log into your account and you'll see something that looks like this. Uh, and it'll be your control panel for your web hosting account. And uh, you still don't have a website. There's not going to be anything at your address. If you go to your address, uh, there's nothing there. They may, Bluehost may have a, a parking page or some sort of placeholder page. Um, but your website won't be there. And so what we want to do now, we've got a hosting account set up. It's good. We're ready to go. We want to set up WordPress. And it's really very easy, and I want to show you how easy it is to set up WordPress on your hosting account. You'll come to this, uh, you'll come to this cPanel screen, and, and uh, HostGator also uses uh, cPanel. And HostGator is another one that, that we recommend and have used and, and do currently use. Um, so we use them both currently. The... Uh, so as you go, um, as you, what you'll, you'll do is you come here and you just scroll down, and, and you'll get down here to software and services, and you'll see simple scripts, and you just click on simple scripts. So this is where I want to switch over and show you what happens if you're on HostGator. The uh, so on HostGator, you can see it's very similar looking because it's also the same software called cPanel. Um, as you scroll down in HostGator. Um, you get to the same thing, software and services, but you don't see simple scripts. You see two other options that do the same thing. One of them is Fantastico Deluxe, and the other one's Quick Install. These basically are both installers that include WordPress as one of the options. So I uh, just want you to not get confused if you happen to be on HostGator or some other host that has Fantastico, which is very common, um, versus simple scripts, um, which is you know uh, what you'll see with Bluehost and, and a number of other hosts as well. So you'll click on Simple Scripts and, um, and you'll end up seeing something that looks very similar to this. It's not exactly like this because it'll be Bluehost's particular version. This is a Simple Scripts demo, um, but it's very, very similar. And so you'll see that you've got all these different scripts, they're called, that you can install. These are basically softwares or website softwares that you can install in your hosting account. You, you don't have to do much to it. So if you, you'll see blogs now. You know, WordPress is, is used for much more than just blogs now, um, but it's still it's listed under blogs because it is generally a blogging software and it's great for blogs. So you see WordPress here, you click on it. And um, this comes up with install WordPress. And you can you're gonna do a new installation. This is the first time you've done it, so you install a brand new version. You click on that. And this will come up. This is going to come up showing some sample information from Simple Scripts demo, rather than um, you know what you would see. Yours is going to have a little bit different wording in it. Um, you know, yours is going to say HTTP, you know, colon slash slash Kim's dash blog dot com, okay, and then that's what's going to be there. So that's gonna, unless you have more than one domain, 
but if you've just set up your account, you've got one domain, that's what's going to be there. Um, and then there's going to be this slash and this empty empty uh, box. You're not going to put anything in that empty box, and I'll show you in a minute what you when you would put something in that box. But if you want WordPress to be your main website software for running your website, which 99% of you who are listening to this video is exactly what you want, um, then you won't put anything in this box. You'll just leave it right there. And then you'll go down here and click this advanced options, and, and you can say, you can give it a name right now. Um, you could say, you know, Kim's blog instead of my blog, and this is going to show up on the website. The, uh, so you'll say, you know, whatever you want it to say. And you go ahead and pick a password here. Um, don't click that box, just, just type in your password because you don't want to. Uh, you don't want to have to try and remember some randomly generated password. If you like randomly generated passwords, great. You, you don't have to do this. Um, but if you want to use a password that you always use or a username that you're used to, you can do that here. Um, automatically create a new database should be checked. So leave that alone. And um, then, you know, you can skip these uh, any extra things that they might install for you. I would say no to that and skip step three. Obviously, you're going to have to say yes to step four and you'll hit complete. Um, this is a demo so I'm not sure what will happen if I hit complete but I'll hit it and hit the, and I'll pause the video if, if it seems like it's going to take a second and we'll see what happens but I can tell you what will happen if it doesn't. Yeah it won't do it. I didn't think it would. Um, so it would just say you know you're, you've successfully installed WordPress and it'll have your login information and a link to your control panel. So let's go um, let's let me pause this a second and, and then I'll pick up in a new spot okay so now I'm, I'm at a Fantastico version of this remember I showed you that uh, you can use simple scripts or Fantastico and other hosts um, since I'm doing this on a host gator type uh, installation um, I'm using Fantastico but I'm showing you an example of, of how what happens after you hit uh, install WordPress so I'm putting this at crazytreemedia.com slash example so you remember when I said that there's this box that the slash is and said to leave it blank if you wanted to put an additional WordPress installation on your website um, so if you wanted to have kimsblog.com slash shop and you wanted a different WordPress at shop versus uh, at the main site, then you could have more. You can have multiple inst installations of WordPress or or some shopping cart software or some other type of uh, content management system in different directories on your site. So in this case, I'm putting it at crazytreemedia.com/example, and so I've put in a username and password and and uh, you know just filled in some of that same information you saw in the simple scripts demo a second ago. And I'm going to actually install WordPress now. Uh, if I haven't left this set so long that it's logged me out, uh, but I'm going to hit install WordPress. Okay, and so Fantastico has installed WordPress for me. So now, in, in simple scripts, would tell you something very similar to this, and, and you know, it would basically say, "Okay, you're done." And uh, and so now, I can go to uh, that address. Now I don't have the the screen showing, um, you know, that I showing my whole uh, browser bar. Um, but I'm just typing in uh, crazytreemedia.com slash uh, example and seeing what I have. See, I have everything at C WordPress example. So it was that fast. Um, it's already done. Now when you have a brand new uh, domain you've just set up, you may, you may have to wait a while. Sometimes there's a thing called propagation. Sometimes it happens really fast. Sometimes it can take a day for the thing to start working. So don't be distressed if it doesn't work right away. Um, if you've gone through these steps, it will work. So now I have a WordPress blog on, on my site, and, and I can start working on that. So that's it. You've set up hosting and installed WordPress, and now you're ready to customize WordPress. Hi, this is Kim. I hope the video was helpful. To get hosting resources mentioned in the post, go to everythingse.com slash resources. Thanks for joining us.